hi everyone welcome back to another video it's been a while i haven't uploaded any video right um just been busy with some work and other stuff but today here it is as you can see on the screen it says my girl uh, welcome please sign in kind of stuff if you are living in australia you might know what this is and this is the time when you lodge your text so i'm going to show you how we lodge in text of an individual if you have worked on tfn and yeah so just to let you know this is just for educational purpose i won't say uh, like i'm not a tax registered tax agent so this is just if you know uh, how to do it and if you're not sure about something and things like that this can help you so let's do it um if you just go to mygov.com.au just click on your just enter that thing on your browser the sign in page will come up um, just simply if you already have an account just put up the details here if not create an account and then you sign in once you sign in our uh, details once you do that you can come back to home page which is this page here and then you can come to manage my text right just click on here um, okay once you click that a page like this will come up uh, this is a history which you have done previously we have we don't have to do anything here we will click on not lost which is here and now something like this will come up here and you click on prepare now there are four steps right first starts with contact details like i said make sure all your contact details are up to date all right just make sure all your details are right up there if yeah if they are not just click on add it and do a next now next is income tax things like this just make sure you have your account name your psp your account number and things like that if they're already there that's fine if not click on edit and put all your details up there so uh, column three will like Page three will come up. Were you Australian resident for tax purpose from 1 July 2019 to 30th June 2020? Um, it says the Australian resident for tax purpose. If you have lived in Australia for more than 180 days, which is six months in that last year, then you are a resident of Australia for tax purpose, right? It has nothing to do to with your immigration thing you are considered as a australian resident for tax purpose if you live in this financial year for more than 180 days okay so yes i the person who i am doing this tax return for has lived here for more than 180 days which is more than six months so we click on yes do you have a spouse at any time between this last financial year if yes you say yes if no click on no she doesn't have so i will just click on no and then you will it will just come up saying you receive wages income things like that so yes all those boy people who worked on tfn you have to click on this number one right and then that's it and also when you scroll down you will have an um, option saying you had deductions you want to claim you will click on that yes and you will click on work related expenses all right if you have done any donations you have given any gift and if you have receipts for that you can click on this one if not just uncheck that and come down and yeah pretty much that's it we just go next again just letting you know i'm just doing this text written for an individual who work at, as a student 20 hours a week for the entire year so she doesn't have a lot of in other incomes things like that she didn't had any foreign income she's not a sole trader um, not any income from superannuation things like that okay if you have any one of these i will suggest you to see a tax agent who can help you with that okay just don't play with it if you're not sure about it but i'm just telling you how to do it if you have just your normal wages or in like salary kind of stuff right so just click on that we had no foreign income she had nothing she will just do deductions on basis of this 
you had tax losses earlier income years i'm not sure about this you're not um, just nothing to do with all this right just click next now that's a page for prepare returns that's the most important page um you that's if you like if you work on tfn and your employer has given you payg summary it will all up it will already be here you don't have to do anything right just make sure these figures are right if not you can always go to add or add it and make the changes right but if they are if you if you see they are correct you don't have to even do that they're already there okay and the, now what we need to do is we go to deductions right we click add and add it so deductions are there are a few categories which you can claim deductions right um, i'm going to go not going to go through all these but just to give you a few rough idea work related car expense all right if you're going from your home to work you can't claim that as a work car expense in your tax right you can't do it it is only you can only claim this expense when you go from work to home like from home to work and then you from your office you go to another office right if your company has like three offices in same city right going from home to your office is normal you can't claim that but if you're going from your office to another office and you have maintained a logbook then you can claim this right um yes otherwise if you work related travel expenses if you have traveled to work using your um public transport which is like go card or things like that you can claim that you can just enter here traveling costs traveling costs and then you can calculate this on based on how many shifts you have covered for example we will just pull out a calculator here So for example if you go to work three days a week right which is like six trips in three days and your each day um, cost is near about one dollar fifty cent one way which is three dollars per day we multiply by number of days you go to work for example if you go to three days for work you multiply by three if you go to work for four days you multiply by four we'll do here three which is nine so that's nine dollar per week now we have 52 weeks in a year we'll multiply nine by 52 which is 468 so that's what we will put here 468 dollars it it can vary from different um, um, scenarios like if you have more just don't worry about it you can enter whatever the amount it is for you if you try like i have taken here traveling cost per day is three dollars right if you is four if you is five dollars just put whatever it is right and just when you enter the amount here just click on sign and then you can also claim work related clothing and here clothing type um, you need to select protective clothing and you can um uh, like this is clothing for example um safety shoes eye wheels uh head mask or whatever it is right for example let's claim three like she bought some sh um safety shoes and some other stuff which were near about 300 dollars we'll just put it 300 dollars here we'll save it um self it education expense does nothing work related expense nothing like i said if you have dividend deductions gifts and things like that you can put here but if not just let it be also like i told you previously if you have made any donations and things like that and if you if you have a receipt for that just click on here and add it here if not just save and continue so this will come up here as it you don't have to do anything with it uh, in, um, income tax nothing when it comes to your medicare and private health insurance you if you are doing it for the first time just um, we need to click on that and when you where there's a first column you have any dependent or not just click on zero if you have if you didn't have if you had just put whatever you had 
so medical level exemption is for category one two three yes we are foreign residents we'll click on yes we do not call as a student you don't qualify for medi uh, for medicare so we will take that exemption here full two percent which is number of days which is 365 days in a year we'll put this as zero and now medical levy surcharge we click on no and we just um just say save and continue that's all you need to do so that's done now there will be a caution saying how did you complete this text lesson you can click like click and prepare myself will you need to lodge a text return next year if you're going to australia in australia you're going to pretty much say yes and now you can just click here it will calculate your text so this will this is again estimate text return this is what they share says you're going to get it back it can change sometimes but that's hardly a case so that's what um that's an estimate that's what you're going to get now you already entered your bank details in the start so this is what you get in your bank account within a week or two right you all you need to do is just click tick the box lodge that's it your tax return is done you have saved 70 dollars that's it it's it's that simple it's not rocket science so if you are an student or an individual who works on tfn as a part-time or things like that and you want to lodge your tax return you can do it yourself you don't have to go to any professional or do anything like that okay um yeah if you have any questions just feel free to comment below and i will try to answer them Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.